Hey guys, this is Eric18989, and thanks for just coming back to the channel here. I have an Ace Tanker, an overview and basics on this T49. The T49 is a one of the most unique tanks in the in the game. It's a very fun tank. It's a crazy tank to drive. It's crazy to come up against. Very long reload. The gun to run on this is the 152. That that's why you play this tank. 16.5 uh, second reload, as you see. What you want to do is you want to try to use the big alpha and and use uh, you want to hit and run. All right, um, it has two shells: high explosive anti tank and high explosive. So it has heat and then he. The downside to that is it does not go through spaced armor or tracks. Both of those shells will explode. The heat will do nothing. The high explosive will just do splash damage. So you have to put yourself in kind of a whole different frame of mind when you're playing this tank. When I play this tank, I'm just going to walk you through what I do with it, all right? Um, I, I load up HE right away, and as the battle's loading, I look at the enemy team and I think, okay, what light tanks or lightly armored tanks are on the enemy team? Can I shoot with HE, and where are those tanks going to be? During this pre-battle, you have to plan that. You have to think about that. You know, where can you get this massive damage? Because that's what you want to do. You want to use the full potential of your shells here. And the bummer is I really can't HE anybody on the other team. <laughs> that My best bet is a T-54 lightweight. But even then, the high explosive has 83 pin. The heat has 167. So I'm going to make sure I'm, I'm, I am... Uh, off of his radar right now and I want to use my speed to come up and try to HEM if not I'm going to put a heat shell and then I'm going to run so he's really my only chance and I think he's alone right now so oh I was hoping he was faced the other way so I could HE but I had to switch to heat use my adrenaline and I'm calling for help not necessarily because I need it I, I, I really just want to make my team uh let them look at the map and know hey there's a fight going on on this side too I just I don't want to be completely forgotten about so I do see there's a low health tank and that KV-4, we're going to switch to HE. You're going to use a lot of HE on this. HE is pretty much the standard round. I don't like using heat that much. I used it on that lightweight earlier when, when you can pen. It's okay too, but when you when you can't pen with, with heat, you always want to shoot HE even if you can't pen because you can get some massive massive splash damage you can splash damage you know i think it's like 300 and some up to 400 damage in a in a one shot with the splash damage so this battle's not going well though by the time it took me to kill that lightweight my team has completely fallen apart we were down by uh we're, well we're down by two tanks now severely behind in supremacy points i'm the one that capped b i recapped a also and took that from him my only hope at this point i only have 1200 damage too all right my only hope is to try to he some of their guys Ooh, like this guy boom let it focus a little bit and we get the splash damage there and i'm noticing a lot of them are actually low health so i can splash them i can splash damage these guys we're actually we're actually in it we we can still do it uh so let's see what we can do there's a Yag Tiger. Bummer, he hit me. Oh well, I really don't want him right now. I want this T30. He's in the open and he's distracted. So we splash him. Now I want to turn around and focus on that Yag Tiger again. So let's see see if we can't pop out. 296. I doubt it's going to be able to, but I just want to try just to see if we get a high roll or not with a splash damage. 137 man so based upon that 137 he just shot i don't want to charge him right away because he does have a pretty quick reload i just just based off of that 137 he has 159 left so it's kind of a toss-up whether it's going to kill him or not because depending on where i hit him what i want to do is i want to get close I, i'm willing to take one that's okay i'm going to switch to heat and i'm going to put it in his side on the move boom so we do that at the same time i'm looking to see where the is5 is I have no choice, we have to cap D right now. Less than 2,000 damage. You don't really, you get big damage with this gun, you can when you have tanks to, to pen. This is one of those rare games where there's like, I just can't pen anybody. <laughs> so instead I'm using the splash damage and I'm, and I'm playing uh, the tank uh, for its speed on supremacy. I out right now we already won. I might as well load up a heat. I really don't care if I die. I just want to get more damage. So we trade off. He kills me, but hey, I got one into him with 500 damage. So I did get five kills uh, and we, I was very shocked to get the ace on this 2374 damage. 
five kills. We capped three bases though, but even when you there's no tanks on the other team that you can pin with HE, this tank can still be a lot of fun and it can be very effective if you know what you're doing. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good one.